responsible for all of the collections, their care and housing here at the museum, as well as all of the exhibits. And our collection consists of telling what life was like on the Blackland Prairies, as well as the family that lived here, Mary Alice Farrell and then her daughter, Amy Wilson. So our collection consists of decorative arts from the Victorian period, as well as farm implements, tools, outbuildings, the whole gamut of life between 1890 and 1925. My name is Ashley Bloom. My name is Patty Short. And, and we're, we're curatorial, curatorial interns. <laughs> My name is Ashley Bloom. My name is Patty Shore, and we're curatorial interns. Okay. <laughs> My educational background includes a bachelor's degree in art history and museum studies and a postgraduate diploma in ancient history. I have a master's degree in museum studies from Johns Hopkins with a concentration in collections and exhibitions. So our curatorial interns, Patty and Ashley, have been helping with our collections assessment. With over a 40 year history of acquiring objects for our collection, we really needed to take a step back and assess what we have. Do a complete inventory, condition reports, photograph, updating our records in our uh, database past perfect, and really see what we have what gaps we need to fill within our collection to move forward. So one really interesting piece we have in the collection is a photograph of Mary Alice Farrell. And when I found the picture in the collection, there was a crack going through it. And we knew with it being such an important piece within the collection belonging to the family that we wanted to have it conserved. I wrote a grant to the uh, Collin County Historical Commission and we were awarded grant funds to have it conserved uh, by a photography conservator in Dallas. After it was conserved, it was really the catalyst for us doing the collections assessment. We really wanted to be able to take a step back and do a complete inventory, photograph, measurements, conditional reports of every object we have here at the museum. And we hired Ann Hanish with Lasting Legacy to help with the day-to-day -day of doing the entire assessment for the museum. My name is Ann Hanish and I'm a collections consultant here at the Heritage Farmstead Museum. One of the items we found during this assessment are a pair of boots um, that belong to Miss Amy. The ostrich leather has deteriorated, so it's a perfect candidate for conservation. Unfortunately, there are other items in our collection that we have also found that are in need of conservation as well. One aspect of our collections assessment was that we were able to apply for grant funding with the City of Plano to purchase archival supplies for rehousing the entire collection. With the uh, photograph of Mary Alice, to have it conserved and uh, reframed, it was about $1,200, but that's just for the photograph itself. In order to get a box, tissue, and ethophone to create a mount for it, it's about $25 just for that one piece. We have over 6,500 objects within the collection, so there is a great demand of needing to purchase more archival supplies so that we can continue to protect our collection. My name is Lorraine Necky. I am a greeter at Plano Heritage Farmstead Museum. Because I had started to volunteer when my husband was alive, we both volunteered as ushers at a couple of theaters and I did some volunteer work at church. Well, he passed away a couple of years ago and my children says, Mom, you have to stay busy. And then I read in the paper where the farmstead was looking for greeters. My children were correct. I needed to stay busy after my husband passed away. I, it didn't do much good to just sit home and feel sorry for myself, so I got out. This is one of the great, great places that really makes a difference in my life. Where are you from? 
originally from the Detroit, Michigan. Oh, oh, we got visitors. Oh, sweet, let's get them. the children come because today's children have no concept of what a farm is. They really have no concept of what a chicken is. And I've noticed when I'm here that the little children love the chickens. Maybe they can relate with chicken nuggets from McDonald's and this is where it comes from. I had been to all of the 2015 programs that they had done for plus 55. It's just such a fun thing. It's educational. They have had the best speakers. It's, it's, everybody there is friendly. Even the visitors who come in, everyone just talks to each other and it's, it's a wonderful thing. One thing I really love is every program they serve refreshments. This job really makes me feel good. I feel I'm doing much for the community and for this museum. Turn up. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> Okay, and know. some of and I love you too, go away. <laughs> Why are you so embarrassed on camera? No, because you stay. <laughs> I love you, bye. Where are we at? My name's Ashray Potter and I'm a teacher and a single mom to a precocious eight-year-old named Annalise. As a single mom on a limited income, I had to pick up some extra jobs after school and so that limits the quality time I get with my daughter. We've also lived in an apartment her whole life and she's always wanted a pet and she loves animals but we haven't been able to do that and there's just not the outdoor space when you're living in an apartment for that type of thing. My daughter really wanted to be involved with the FFA Junior program, Raising a Lamb, but it's costly and we couldn't afford it. And then we found out that Heritage Farmstead Museum was offering a scholarship called the Amy Wilson Scholarship, and Annalise was the recipient this year. The Amy Wilson Scholarship is a fund that provides for an FFA Junior member to be able to raise an animal for that season of FFA. This has impacted Annalise's life in such a positive way. It, we're able to spend a lot of quality time at the farm together and outside just enjoying the outdoors and the animals. She's learning so much about responsibility and just what it takes to take care of an animal between feeding it and cleaning out the pens and scooping up poop. She's finding more joy in that than any other activity she's ever done. So I really appreciate being able to be here. This has changed and impacted my life because Heritage Farmstead Museum gave my daughter an opportunity that I could not have done on my own because financially I couldn't afford it. So I'm very thankful to Heritage Farms because it has definitely changed the trajectory of our life. This is something that she loves to do and will continue to be involved in. None of this would have been possible without the community's help, so I thank you. We need you. Yay! <laughs> you like, oh. Ah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Now I have to grade. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hello, people.
<laughs> How did I do? 